so many cool people, and I thought, you know what, this is what I want to do, this is where I want to be at. And so, I feel like I belong here, so that's what AfterCon's about too. It gives me a reason to stay around, and that's why I'm here. Uh, what I like, I actually like to watch anime, but I'm like a J-drama expert. I watch a lot of Japanese drama, listen to a lot of Japanese music. Woo! I went to Japan like a bunch of times just to go to concerts, uh, go to concerts here and whatnot. So that's why I like. I play video games too. Like Persona 3. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, so my cosplays, I have a few. Uh, I cosplayed L from Death Note. So that was cool. I cosplayed Link from Zelda. That was cool. I was actually playing hey. Link and Zelda with Master Sword. I had a butterfly net. I actually did a photo shoot in Tokyo where they where, where the J drama actually took place. So I went there and did a cosplay for that. And at this con, I am AG from Prince of Tennis. So you guys know Prince of Tennis. Who else but him? Yeah. I knew because I wanted to recruit band members for my band, and I thought, hey, I can find a bunch of Asian people that play instruments. <laughs> <laughs> and I found out that, well, there's not a lot of Asian people here, but, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. but there are a lot of people who appreciate the culture. Um, so since then, I went to a bunch of other conventions. And last year, 2007 Comoricon was where our band made its debut in the anime convention scene. Uh, since then, between Comoricon last year and this year, been to or part of oh, about 30 conventions now. So going about 25 to 30 a year, sometimes more or less. Um, it all started with Comoricon, but you know, it was kind of cool just finding AfterCon. I actually just did a bunch of searching and eventually found their website and eventually got to know um, the people that ran it. And it's a really cool site. And what I, my hope is to see more people from KomoriCon there. Don't There's hardly anyone there. there. Most people are the, from right. Anime Expo. This but the right we can show them that we're live at the convention. Bam! Yeah. Yeah. No, we have a really one. strong base in California, Arizona, and Texas. So, you know, like everybody in Arizona knows after. <laughs> shoved out of the room because they were like violating like hallway stuff. So, I'd say everyone welcome back to 2008 Anime Hunters panel! We're going to have a good time this year. Oh, the whole session is a little faulty. I can fall through with my helmet. You'll know because the helmet will be nodding off. <laughs> <laughs> so what you guys been up to? Losing money. Losing money. Spending our savings. You. Tax evasion. I'm getting you. I wish I could have been there. 
there. Didn't you like scrunch up in the back of the car when the tow truck was, was going? Like, like in the back of one of my friends, Bucky. And we're just like, we came and then it hits the back of the semi and uh, we're just we'll sleeping like, oh, Bucky, you feel something? I was like, no. <laughs> so we pull over, um, semi truck pulls over. We look and there's a big poster of Bob Vila. I was like, it's like staring into the face of God. <laughs> Bob Vila is like the man Martha Stewart or something. <laughs> so this year we got a lot of cool things for you. A nice two hour panel. You aren't obligated to stay for the rest of the time. Lock the doors. <laughs> They're not locking. <laughs> Find a weapon in each of your seats. Kill now. <laughs> Oh, I found Waldo. <laughs> so, better than back in time. I'm facing the audience, but I'll keep an eye on you. I have eyes in the back of my head. So, how did everyone enjoy opening ceremonies? Was that good? Yeah. Exciting once more? Fun? Enjoyable? All of the above. No, just one of those. <laughs> just enjoyable. This year we got a lot planned. Who was at SoccerCon? Very nice. Who checked out our, our episode from that panel? Was it something you didn't get to see that we're going to go ahead and reshow that episode a little bit? And then we're going to go ahead and premiere our new episode four. I have to agree. This this came out brilliant. I was. I live in constant fear. What's that? Brody, you. Me. Give, give me two dollars. I don't think about it. Yeah. Two dollars. No, switch it off. I don't know how to say that. No, <laughs> So I can hear what you're saying. You're not gonna hear through the typing! That's, that's, yeah. that's a computer phone. Whatever. <laughs> I don't do computers.